What happens if you decide you're, you're going on your flight, you're ready to go, you've got these carriers making a ton of money doing what? Checking your bags, Checking right? Checking the bags and charging you for it. I have this lovely piece that I'll be wearing later. <laughs> uh, You'd actually look really good in that fuchsia. So what, baby? <laughs> <laughs> so what you have to do is you have to know how to pack, number one, and how to avoid, if you do check your luggage, having it lost forever. So yeah. simple enough, you got to have a tag. Always have a tag on your bag, of course, bag, right? Yes. But don't use those flimsy airline ones that can just pull off. Right. You know, you see the people to get no, the doing that? No, the paper ones. Get the paper ones. Right. Here's the other thing. Don't just put it on the outside. Put your name and phone number on the inside. That's a great tip. Here's why. If they lose that barcode from the airline, they don't know who you are. I mean, there's a Mark Murphy over here who's a, who's a, he's a complete imposter. He has I, luggage. I'm Mark Murphy, and I want Mark Murphy's luggage back. <laughs> and I'm not getting it back. So he's got it. Mark's drinking Hold on. the bottle. And, and I'm getting a free bowl of soup. <laughs> what the heck's going on? So no, I want it coming back to me. Another way to do that, put your itinerary in there. So again, so they know where it's going next. Yeah, Brilliant. they know where it's going, right? But understand, there are some things with the airlines. Let's say they lose your bag. You never want to put these things in your bags. They're not responsible for things like jewelry, money, heirlooms, artwork, collectibles. But if you want to track things, these GPS trackers, you can put them in your bag, light it up, put it in your bag. And I know you, you all do this. You go to your iPhone and you track your kids. Right, like stalkers. Well, now you can track your luggage. Now, maybe in Venezuela, and someone's wearing your dress, but, but it, you'll know where it is. You'll know it's in Venezuela. And there is luggage now that, if you're buying luggage, they have luggage that is embedded with chips. Correct. Right. Right. Correct. It's a great purchase. I, I got one. Thing's a miracle. You can also plug your phone in, plug your computer in, does everything, but take out the garbage. I, I just got one of those bags. It's amazing. I didn't know the bag. We're not they're amazing. Name, we're not going to name it, but no, I, but they're amazing. We have one. We have yeah. one. They're really cool. So now the last thing you really need to know, and this is really going to help, really not going to help you for Easter because you're probably already booked, but you got to know when to travel. Best days of the week: Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday for travel. Why? Because business travelers are going out on Mondays and coming back on Fridays. Most expensive That's days, right. busiest and days to travel. And weekend travelers are Thursday to Sunday or Monday. Right? Exactly. And you want to travel before 8 a.m. and after 8 p.m. I'm an after eighter. You know why? Because you can go to sleep like normally. If it's a long flight especially, I always take the last flight of the day. Yeah, and you know what? The only caveat to that is if it's bad weather or something, that last flight of the day, if cancellations build up, you may, uh, yeah. you, may, you may be sleeping in a hotel or on right. one of those lovely benches at the airport, <laughs> yeah. right?